One of the best ways to start creating new diagrams in Microsoft Visio is start using templates. Templates are available if you click on the File tab and select New. You can find templates among many different categories, for example, Network, Flowcharts, Software, Education, Business, Database, or Floor Plans. Or you can find template that you need by typing the name of the template that you might be looking for, for example, UML in my case. And if something that you need is available in the list. If you're unsure which template do you need, you can start with the basic diagram or blank drawing. I'm going to click on the basic diagram to start my Visio diagram. In your typical Microsoft Visio workflow, you will start by selecting the template. You use Microsoft Visio by using ribbon interface with its tabs, groups, and commands. You access all the shapes that you need through the palette, stencils, and shapes. To start creating the diagram, you just drag the shape into the diagram, and from here you can do multiple things. You can double-click on the shape and add a title to the shape. You can access additional features of the shape by using right mouse click. And as you can see, you can cut, copy and paste the shapes, you can change features of the font, or you can access shape properties. Most of the commands you need to use Visio are located on the Home tab. In fact, Microsoft claims that 80% of the times you will be spending in the Home tab. On the Home tab, you can access clipboard commands, you can change fonts properties. For example, you can increase the size of the font once shape is selected, or decrease the size of the font. You can realign the font through the paragraph group. You can access to the tools. There are six different tools in the tools section. You can access to the shape styles. For example, if you're not happy with the style of the shape, once it's selected, you can change the style of the shape and select the one that you like. One way to add more shapes into the diagram is just to drag another shape and place it next to the first one. You can see that Visio provides grid lines, which allows you to place the shape aligned with the previous shape. This allows you to build professional diagrams very quickly. Once we've added the second shape, we can double-click on it and give it a title. You see that the font sizes are different between the shapes. One cool feature Microsoft Visio provides is to copy format from one shape to another. To do that, you need to use Format Painter. And you use Format Painter by selecting the original shape from which you're trying to copy the format. Click in Format Painter, clicking on the shape to which you would like to copy the format to. As you have two shapes now, you might consider connecting them. You connect the shapes using Connector Tool. You select the Connector Tool and drag the line from one shape to another. As you can see, now line is selected and Visio provides shape styles for line. We can change the shape styles by selecting among the available styles. Since there are so many commands in the ribbon, Microsoft Visio provides you ability to find commands you might be looking for with the option Tell Me. For example, even though Zoom In and Zoom Out features are available in the bottom right corner and you can use them, let's say that you don't know where there might be. All you need to do is to go to the Tell Me box and type Zoom. And it will show you that there are multiple different Zoom options available. And you can zoom specifically based on the percentage that you'd like to zoom or based on the page size. In addition to being able to find specific zoom size, you can also fit the diagram and switch to the presentation mode. Both of these features are located next to the zoom bar. For example, if you're trying to fit it to the window, you click the Fit to the Window button. And if you're trying to switch to the presentation mode, it will remove all ribbons and you will have full screen access to your diagram. To exit the presentation mode, you click the Escape button. Visio allows you to have multiple diagrams inside single VSDX file. You create multiple diagrams by accessing Diagram Tabs feature. When we created blank Visio file, it added one single tab, which is called Page 1. You can rename this tab by double-clicking on it, and I'm going to give it a name, Vendor Relationship. You can add additional tabs by using this plus sign, or you can duplicate an existing diagram by right mouse clicking on this tab and selecting Duplicate. Clicking plus signs adds new blank diagram into the Visio file versus duplicates previous diagram that you've selected for duplication. Once you're done working on the diagram, you can save it as Visio file or export it as PDF or image. There are multiple different formats available for you. For example, the key ones I use as PDF. You can also export it as video as MP4 file, JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges.
If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.